What's up guys, Aaron Bennett here. In this video, Celsius and Voyager updates. So we got an email from Celsius. If you had some custody assets, I'm gonna talk about how to get your money out if you had custody, but most of us are in Earn. I'm just gonna give you the update for Earn as well. And if you had assets in Voyager, we also got an email about how much money we are going to get back. I'm gonna to touch on the price of VGX, let you guys know how much I actually had on Voyager, which is not that much. And then just give you guys an update regarding Voyager and Celsius. So let's start out with Celsius. This will apply to just a few of you guys, but those of you who had custody assets can withdraw 36 and a quarter today. You can go ahead and complete your KYC and then withdraw those funds. The next 36 and a quarter percent withdrawal will happen probably by the end of the year to be safe. And withdrawing your custody coins off of Celsius, there are some pretty hefty fees right now. So if you are withdrawing Bitcoin, it's going to be $20. ETH, it's going to be $5.80. All other ERC20 Ethereum tokens, $15.20. And other coins are going to be $1.20. Those of you who were just in Earn, which is like 99% of you watching, everyone who is international, basically, we still don't know. We are waiting for a plan to be confirmed. The auction is still going on. So once we know who the bidder is, they submit a disclosure statement. Then it gets voted upon by us and it gets approved by all the regulators. Then we will know exactly how much earn will get back in liquid distributions and also get back through things like equity or management share tokens. But for now, earn people and loans, we do not know exactly how much we'll get back. Taking a look at Voyager. So those of you guys who have Voyager assets did get an email like this, I believe today. So this is the chart that a lot of people are getting frustrated about for good reason. So basically they have 75% of customers' claims in their possession, but then we get all of these holdbacks. So there is going to be some litigation between FTX Alameda seeing if they will claw back crypto from Voyager. So they are holding back $445 million until that gets worked out. Now, potentially Voyager creditors, if this goes in our favor, will get this $445 million or some of it as a distribution down the road, but they have to hold it back because right now it's still being litigated who that money belongs to. $135 million dollars is going to wind down costs and this litigation reserve, which is going to be going after other people like 3HC and maybe some insiders and basically trying to get more money to the estate. But that is a lot of money, $135 million. A lot of people have a problem with that. Admin and priority tax claims, $50 million, yikes. And then we're getting other holdbacks of $74 million. So they are basically holding back $704 million right now. And here they give the details of what the wind down budget means, like for this $135 million, you're looking at admin functions, remaining employees, advisors, other expenses. And here this $49.9 million is going to be a accrued professional fees, trade expenses, priority tax claims, and this additional 74.1 million bucks is additional holdbacks related to potential tax claims and intercompany settlements. So it's very, very confusing. And there are quite a lot of people that are just pissed off about this because they realize that if Voyager just immediately liquidated, they would have gotten much higher to the 75% back rather than this 35% back. So what's done is done. You know, people are going to get their crypto and that's going to be it. So basically, once this becomes live, you'll have 30 days to log into your Voyager app and withdraw your crypto. But if you don't do anything, you'll receive a check or possibly an ACH withdrawal for that amount. So these are the coins that you can transfer directly off the Voyager app. And these are the coins that you cannot. So if you have these coins on the app, the unsupported coins, they will just be liquidated and you'll get USDC, the stable coin. VGX holders will receive USDC in lieu of that coin. We unfortunately cannot withdraw VGX. VGX, which the price of VGX has been tanking. This will become a meme coin if it stays alive. It's down 3.6% today, which is actually not that much. Over the last seven days, 25% down. Over the last 30 days, 50% down. It's actually held up a lot better than I thought, <laughs> to be honest. People are still trading it, which is actually kind of funny. Here it says, if you want to receive your recovery solely in US dollars, you do not need to take any action during the 30-day window. Following that, we will provide updates on how to receive 
receive your cash. So basically you will get another email when this 30 day window opens. And from then you can go in and withdraw your crypto. But basically if you want to do nothing, you will still get that US dollar amount either by check or some bank transfer. But honestly, once a Voyager opens, I suggest you probably go in and withdraw it. And currently my little claim on Voyager, which is very small, is 165 bucks. I paid around $2,000 cash or USD for VGX, mostly early 2021 when it was pumping guys. And now out of that $165 claim, because remember this is the price of the coin on July 5th, that is the date of the bankruptcy petition. So if you go into your app, you will see exactly how much your claim is for. That amount is what they will take that 35% approximately of. So 35% of 165 is around $59 that I will get to take off the app, or actually I will get in USDC. So I did the calculation and that's about a 97% loss in value of the VGX that I purchased. So anyway, losing investment, but we all live and learn. And some people are coming to me being like, I just want to leave this entire process, especially with Celsius, because it's very, very stressful. So I will just mention at the end of this video right now that you can sell your claim or you can look into selling your claim. I am going to talk more about this specific company in the next couple days or so. This is Cherokee Acquisition, and they have been buying a lot of the claims and helping people sell their claims. So right now for Celsius, you're looking at around 22 to 26% of your claim. And for some people out there, this is probably the best decision because emotionally it's wearing on you. You are getting depressed. You literally just need money to survive and you don't want to follow this case anymore. Like you're tired of this or you want money to invest directly into Bitcoin or an altcoin or basically take ownership of some of your crypto because you think you can make it back before Celsius gives it back to you in you know who knows how long, maybe by the end of this year or maybe the beginning of next year. We really don't know yet. So anyway, I will leave the link to this below and you can check it out if you want. I will be making more content on this in the future just to kind of explain exactly how this works. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.